Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is August 29th and right now we are looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. Let's jump back to yesterday here and we're going to take a look at our upper level low off the coastline. State of California right here. Monsoon moisture across portions of Arizona. But watch what happens as we go through the day yesterday. Notice this thunderstorm activity pop off across the Peninsula Range in Baja. Then we get some into Southern California just off to the south of the Salton Sea. There are some prolific lightning producing cells there drifting about as we went through the evening hours and those came to an end and then we scroll on in towards actually let's check it out there was one actually very late last night as well pop redeveloped it right near the Arizona California border then we scroll off in towards this morning and we're gonna have some thunderstorm activity we're trying to push a little bit further off into the western portions a little bit further north today we'll take a look at that uh, those details as well as the upper level low it's gonna be approaching the coastline here this is finally just now starting on its trek you can see if I scroll back and forth just now starting to kick off to the northeast as we speak and that'll be making its way across northern california and into oregon it'll cool us off for a bit here but i'll show you those temperatures also in a moment day one thunderstorm outlook they could probably put this a little bit further off to the west here and i'm not expecting huge coverage there but it does include phoenix and flagstaff for today this is for tomorrow you notice it does include some portions of california and las vegas and day three, something similar there as well. So we'll be watching that, and I'll show you the weather models on that here in a moment. But if we take a look at the upper level low, again, state of California right here, there's the Hawaiian Islands. We're looking at the Pacific Ocean, and you can see the upper level low right here. This will continue to make its way towards the Northern California and Southern Oregon coastline. And this will squash the ridge at least for a time as we go on in through later portions of the weekend and on in through next week. And then it kicks out, and we're going to return those temperatures back up above normal, most likely, as we're going through the first week of September. So taking a look at lightning flash density potential. So if we go through the day, this is actually, let me back this up, this is Thursday afternoon here. You can't rule out a thunderstorm again across some of the desert areas down into Baja and you know extreme southeast California and Arizona, of course. So we go into Friday and you can see up towards Las Vegas again, maybe across the Peninsula Range of some of the desert areas. And we go through Saturday afternoon and that is when you can see the upper level low start to have its impacts. It could bring some thunderstorm activity to Northern California and some of the Oregon Cascades. And again, uh, thunderstorm activity trying to creep into Nevada, maybe including the Sierra Nevada and the Peninsula Ranges again, and the desert areas. So there's Sunday wrapping that up. But if we take a look at the two meter temperature anomaly, this is the GFS and this is the 06C run last night's run. You can see that we are above average, but what we're looking for here is the upper level low starting to swing through as we go through the end of the weekend and through early next week. So we're going to drop those temperatures back down a little bit here again. So we'll take it, you know, definitely this time of year, it's still pretty hot out there. And then you can see the heat really return and ramp back up as we go through the end of next week. Some places, you know, 10 plus degrees above normal when it's already pretty hot this time of year. So we scroll in through the extended forecast and not much relief except for maybe some of the Bay Area and some of the immediate coastal areas as we head off into September 9th and 10th there. So some above average conditions look to continue, especially for the interior areas. Now, this is a wider view of things here on the GFS. This is at 18,000 feet or 500 millibars. You can see the ridge across the region now. Upper level low swings through, helps to squash that ridge for a time as we go through the early portion of next week. And then we kind of rebuild that ridge a bit. And you can see that extend all the way up across some of the Northeast Pacific Ocean here, across the Pacific Northwest. And that does include California for some pretty warm conditions as we go through September. But we, you know, we've got some things going on in the models. They're just going back and forth and waffling at the position of the switch to the extended forecast. So that's why we don't get too caught up in these details as we look off too far into the extended forecast. It creates some kind of cutoff low here off the coast. And we won't worry about that too much yet. We'll look for model consistency first. So looking at sea level pressure here, something I look for at this time of year across the state of California, of course, is when these big high pressure systems move down across some of the Great Basin, we can get the offshore wind events. And right now, not showing any anything of that nature. I'll, I'll show you what tends to happen. You'll see this high pressure that kind of moves down through the extended forecast. Let's see if we can find it today. Did it come, not come in through this model run? There it goes right there. So when this higher pressure sets up a little bit closer to the Great Basin here, you know, you get that big pressure gradient from the interior areas back out across. So you can bring those strong offshore winds and really warm up the coastal areas and dry things out. But we're not showing any kind of Santa Ana or Diablo wind event or any offshore wind event over the next couple of weeks as of right now. But it's something we always watch at this time of year. It's that, it's that we're getting into the time where, where those events can to start, start to happen with a little bit more frequency. So six to 
10-day uh, temperature outlook, you can clearly see the above average signal here for much of the West. This goes to the first week of September. And they've backed off on any precipitation amounts during this time below normal across much of the West and even a little bit better chat for some below normal across portions of Arizona into southeast California. And here's the 8 to 14 day. Can't miss that signal above average all the way through September 11th and the below average signal for precipitation. And looking at the uh, daily two meter max temperature here, you can see pretty warm conditions and some hundreds showing up across the valley areas here. Of course, if you want to beat the heat, you get out towards the coastal regions there. And if you want to get out into more heat, you get out across Death Valley and some of the desert areas. We scroll off in towards Sunday and Monday. And by Monday, you can notice that cool down. That's that upper level low swinging through the area. Then we bounce back Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday as we bring some very warm conditions back here across the region. So, and then maybe through the extended, we cool things down a little bit more, but I wouldn't worry too much about that just yet. It's looking a little bit too far out in the crystal ball. And taking a look at a fire smoke, this is, um, let me update that because I believe that was yesterday's. It is. Let's go to the 12 Z so we can look out 48 hours. And again, we got some fire activity out there, but relatively speaking, again, fingers crossed, knock on wood, we are doing pretty well across much of the state of California relative suit to some past years. And here's the monthly drought outlook here. And California is still doing pretty well uh, overall. In fact, let me back back up here and we'll take a look because there is a more recent map here. And you can see that it has been updated on August 27th. This was issued just uh, today on the 29th. And uh, again, there is some moderate drought. Severe drought just clips the Northern California border right there, but still doing pretty well overall, relatively speaking, for this state of California compared to past years. So anyway, hope you guys are liking these videos. Watch out for the thunderstorm activity down here across some of the desert areas and some of the mountainous regions over the next few days. And we'll go over that in a little bit more detail tomorrow. And we'll take a look at some high resolution model stuff as we go through tomorrow as well as what we can expect across central and northern California as upper level low swings through the area. So anyway, Hope you guys are liking the videos. Click like and subscribe. We'll do this all again tomorrow and I will talk to you guys then.